some boot prints here. Some boot prints here. This is a proximity alert training video uh, taken on 7 3 2013 of uh, Deputy Ben McBroom and his canine Ryko. Uh, the trail is double blind, um, a little over three quarters of a mile long, and at this point we've been into the trail for roughly uh, a quarter mile. Um, the handler has no idea where the trail goes or where the suspect is hiding. Uh, his job is to read the proximity <laughs> alert and close on the subject safely without being uh, shot in the We're process. Getting right We're here. getting close. We're getting close right here. Let's get up good girl. Here. It's a good girl. That's a good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on, girl. Good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. Make sure you don't misconstrue proximity alert for good vegetation scent. Okay. Might be a good idea to let her have a little bit of work up here a little bit. And at the same time, look through here, see if you got another angle. Let him do that. Yeah. I'll work up here. She yeah, was wanting to. Let her have a little bit of lead, see if she does. This map overlay is the entire trail from beginning to end. And the key points are represented by the uh, little strike zones. Uh, one, two, three and then also some air scent zones towards, towards the upper right hand corner of the map. Uh, the subject trail air trail is in blue and the team is in red. The ambush zone is the skull and crossbones in the upper right hand corner of the uh, diagram. You'll notice three yellow lines. These are distance markers from each proximity alert to the ambush. <laughs> Good trail, huh? Okay. Her head's up and running hard now. That's uh Yeah. There, she just got some air scent right here. Right here. See that? The air scent came down right here. Hang on, let's see what the wind's doing. Good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Just because you're hinked up doesn't mean she needs to be. Good girl. She's never done this. She's before. getting air scent coming down right here. Okay. Where do you think it's coming from? Let me gauge the wind here for a second. Okay. You think you're close? I think we are. Okay. How close I think do you like think you are? 100, 100 yards. Okay. You want to try a call out? More. Or you want to go a little bit further? It's up to you. Or you can just sit here for a little bit. Let's go a little. Hurry, so. Let's huh? go a little further. Okay. I want to see what she does if it gets even more intense than what she's doing. I think we're relatively close. Okay. Get to work. Yeah. Bad intersection here. The intersection. All right. I think we're close right here. This is good. Okay. She's just really getting intense. Where do you think it's coming from? It might be right there. Okay. How far up? That high, that high find, I think. Okay. It could possibility, because that's downwind, and she's really hitting hard, running this way. We'll do a call out here. You want to try a call out? Yeah. Sheriff's Department K9! Come out now! Good girl. That's a good girl. Sheriff's Department K9! Come out now with their hands up! I think, I mean, we're in somewhere within here. In this direction. Okay. What do you want to do? Nothing's happened, so I guess we got to move forward. Or they could be just hung up in there waiting on us to well, come in. He, he, the rules are, you know, if, he, if you're within call out range, he comes out. Okay. Well, we'll get to work. So technically, there's really no rules. <laughs> <laughs> First rule of height club. You got nice cover down here, too. So if you can along, you don't need to go too fast. Yeah. 
here's a good boot print. There's a boot print right here. Oh yeah. The grass has been over good right here. Yeah. See it There's right here? Her head just popped again. There, see. This is a still shot of a alert number three. You can see the dog starting to point out towards the flats. Her head just popped again. There, see? See the Figure. head pop? There, head pop again. This is final alert number four. The dog is also facing towards the flats, probably from swirling wind. See it? Her head's up. Yeah. I think. I think we're close now, towards the end of this. It's downwind, and her head keeps coming up, and she's trailing, looking up in this direction. Hey, you gotta call, do what you think you need to do. I think, if we can work around and get downwind. Yeah. The wind is it's going uh, this way. Shoot straight down mm -hmm. here. Yeah, we might be able to air send them from there on the other side and come in. But I think that's where we're focused at right here, and in, into the into the pine trees. So either we go. I mean, she's going to do this all the way up there until she gets air sent. And we're in no hurry. So. Based on the conditions, the handler believes that the alert is coming from directly in front of him on the path. Uh, and then it's swirling wind that's creating the condition that he currently has. If you look at the map that we have in place here, you'll see every level of proximity alert. The first one being roughly 302 yards away. Uh, there was no direction to this alert. The dog was just getting a little bit more animated and the handler read it correctly. Number two alert at 187 yards was very similar. No true direction, just that the dog was getting more animated. The handler knew he was getting closer. The third and the final alerts were really at 102 yards, and this is exactly when the handler had a good idea of where the ambush was going to be set up, uh, and he had an idea of exactly what his dog was telling him, and he took countermeasures at that point. The handler um, opted to flank the source of the odor hard and to the top of the map. Uh, he went into another flat area, then into the woods, uh, and went to an area where he felt he could win the subjects from a distance and also from an area of relative safety.
slow down. Okay. I've warned the handler at this time to slow down a little bit. Uh, he's getting a little bit impatient because he knows he's getting close and wants to close the game. Right here. Here, girl. The wind's swirling now. Is she getting anything there? She, she had head popped over here, okay. this direction. Is strong? No. Okay. Is this something that you want to act on? Or do you want to just continue to go? You can do whatever you want. Well, if it was my life, I'd be calling out okay. <laughs> right now. We'll call out. Oh. Come on, girl. Here. Sheriff! Sure. What? Go I thought it was towards Kent. He is. She's paying attention to everything he's doing because he split away from you. Okay. She's just not used to doing this. Sheriff's Department K-9, come out now! Sheriff's Department K-9, come out now with your hands up! Yep. Come on out. Walk towards the sound of my voice. Walk towards the sound of my voice. Just keep walking. Walk towards the sound of my voice. There you go. Good job. Keep coming in towards me. Keep walking towards the sound of my voice. Keep walking to the sound of my voice. There you go. Oh, right go. Oh, right go. Oh, Rago! Oh, did you find me? Did you find me? Oh, good girl! This is a total view of the flanking maneuver and the first few air sense prior to the final call out. The handler opted for a call out that we discovered was approximately 30 yards from the subject's scent source. Um, we had two prior air scents and then a final scent cone that gave the handler the direction of the odor and ultimately the subject.